Hello, welcome to episode 2. I am very sorry I did not have any commentary. Uh, there will be comments and stuff. I am very sorry, I did not notice. Uh, I had to re play the footage and see. Oh god, if there wasn't any comments or something, like y'all couldn't hear me. So, yeah, yes. But now y'all can hear me. At least I think so. Um, just tell me if y'all think, um,. Just tell me if y'all can hear me by saying, I can hear you in the comments. Because I'm not sure. I don't really check out the footage. I just, all I do is basically upload it and get a, at least try and get a good screenshot for being. Anywho, this is episode two and of Hogwarts Legacy and enjoy. So, we left off re a, a little quick recap. Uh, a uh, dragon attacked us, and we just had to fight a bunch of stone knights, and we we got attacked by this magical goblin type of guy, and now we're in the Hogwarts, and I'm in Gryffindor. So yeah, well, I had to do a little recap, you know, a little recap. To practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, sorry. You know. I certainly Very would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep my brother up. just tried to bring my dog in here, so I had to mute up if you're thinking. Bro, mic up. My, put your ah, mic on, my boy. The guide appears so, yeah. to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Oh, I thought his, his, his butt was on his freaking face. And we'll see what the guide says. Rebellion. Oh. Okay. Quest and combat. So, uh, combat I will probably like in exploration. So basically, what you'll be basically seeing most of the time in while I'm doing this play for them is probably me doing the flow con combat exploration and also this i'll try to fill out field guide pages as much as i can and also try to complete as many quests as i can huh. is that harry potter eh, i don't know oh i have my book here clever isn't it Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside oh. and outside of the castle. Oh, yeah, okay, man. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Okay, okay, I get it, okay, man. It's not like I'm had a you know, <laughs> I had one second left. <laughs> My cat is back to me. Uh, what can I say? My ah, cat. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. <laughs> Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. 
Uh, well, well, uh, yeah, okay. You can um, get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. But what if I don't want to? I don't want to either. What if I don't want to, though? Okay, well, I guess we gotta go now. Hold up, I gotta do something. No. And you? Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. What? Stone that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare... Aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable you I don't know? to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we yep. can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, yes, sir. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. 
It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may true. And she may feel obliged to... Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Yeah. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. So this is basically like more full. Welcome to Hogwarts! Welcome to Hot! Oh, all the way from Hot! Words. I am already a special. <laughs> uh, oh! What? Wait. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Knowledge. <clears throat> to the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Hello. Levioso. Levioso. Now. Let's try something a little larger. Oh, my old day. Let's do this. Let's do this, boys. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. 
Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. I know. Protego. Protego. Let me ask you This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. You're good. Now perceptive. Thank you. I do enjoy you. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Ah, oh, gracias. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is, is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it. If it comes to homework, I'm sorry. I can't do that. I already have homework. A classroom duel so much is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, okay. Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know... You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank that you, Sebastian. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Good. In, yeah, Pleasure we'll chatting with you. Snap some, I'm sure I'll see you soon. You will need snap Perhaps some, somewhere some unsanctioned. Sn sn we'll see oh, if your performance today was sheer luck or succeed. actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the like, clock tower. So imagine it like this. You're in a pile of sticks. You're interested. You're like in uh, surrounded by sticks. And you it's can't break any. Time. If you break any, you'll just get behind. But some of those sticks can help. So, who minds you snapping off your sticks? Sticks now and then, right? Minds. I'm pretty sure I don't. But that was a good duel, and if I'm getting in a dueling class, that would be really good. Also, by the way, um, Butterfree may come out today. I'm not sure. Not free. I'm not sure. If you don't want me to do it, just comment. Just comment it. I may do it. Or maybe just do... But I am really... I'm, I really like this game so far, honestly. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, I like this. Hello. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? 
Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Is that awesome? Oh, okay. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Simply cast Accio on one of your and relinquish your charm. Excellent control there. Splendid! Happens to the best of us. Very good! Very good! Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Well done. Let us see this. That is how it's done. 
Excellent <laughs> control there. <laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Lumos. Off on another and adventure. then the werewolves join the goblins Goblin in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? 
Stop it, Pete. You'll get us in trouble. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, <laughs> excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I oh. heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, <laughs> Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. 
I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Salad the boys, I had to go with the boys. He knows the area. The boys, I had to go with the boys, you know. You know, I had to go with the boys. Rookwood? A rather unsavory Oh, by the way, I'm sorry if I've not been talking that much. I've just been very focused on one. If you can. Once you've finished the Rona's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the three broomsticks. A butterbeer? Oh. Oh, uh, that would be fun. Let's go. We have after class. So, I will probably be making ah, that part, part, uh, to, three will not be you, out. I'm just Indeed gonna, I do. And if I do not finish this, useful if I do not finish this in time, I will be making a oh, fixes things a, right up. Makes part a two, part two. Good as oh. new in the blink of Episode an eye. two, part two. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I oh. have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right. So I'm gonna go be. Going with, I'm gonna be going with the boys. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Must be around here somewhere. Got him. Hey, got him. Hey, hey, shot him. Fought him. Get, get, got him. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, mm, yeah. your wand is a conduit of your magic. Yeah, uh, catch me. For Pero. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, yeah. have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out.
I ain't even looking fresh, my boy. I ain't even looking fresh. Anywho, we're in the circle here. Let's meet Sebastian. I think I'm worrying about is if I get caught, what will happen? I really have made a mess of things. I'd like my mother's help. Oh, I thought that was the one. I think you guys need to know Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I am tired. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Yeah, Speaking you of Weasley, that. she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have been. Well. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve Lewis. me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get from a librarian's bag? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Why do we already make them? To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out Students. 
Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Accurate. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin, too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. It was heavier than I would have liked. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcrafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. be right with ah it's you um just a moment please ah mm. hello sir 
I'm looking for... For a new wand? Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. Yeah. I <laughs> sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly 
in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. All right. <coughs> this will be the end. <coughs> part of end. Of the end of this part of the episode. But there will be another part coming out. Alright. So. Uh, love y'all. And have a blessed day. Goodbye.